everybody welcome back to my channel happy st. Patrick's Day today we're going to be doing some tangling with a st. Patty's Day theme um, basically none of these designs are going to be traditional designs you think of when you think of st. Patrick's Day but we're using a green polish as a background so that counts right <laughs> um, yeah basically I'm just doing what I'm doing in my other tangling videos but you know, it's it's a it's a green background, so it's totally St. Patty's Day. Um. Anyway, I just felt like doing some of my regular tangling. Um. So we're just gonna be doing four designs today. Um. And I hope you find something that you enjoy. So I hope everybody's having a really great day. How are you guys? I know I've been somewhat in my on my channel. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm actually having a day today where I kind of feel okay. I got up and I cleaned my bathroom. Like, that was a really good milestone for me. You know, when you're like so sick and all you want to do is clean your house because you're just like, I'm so sick of being in this dirty house and not being able to do anything about it. Well, today I actually got up, I did some laundry, I cleaned my bathroom, and that made me feel a lot better. And right after this, I think I'm going to go lounge around outside because it's sunny and nice, and I think that will make me feel a lot better too, to get some fresh air and just enjoy nature. So anyway, actually this first design is almost a little bit done. Hopefully you've been able to tell what it is I'm doing here. It's basically just a whole bunch of triangles, but you want to face them in a bunch of different directions. So anyway, we're moving on. Second design is just kind of like um, a vine with some leaves on it. Pretty simple, pretty fun. Um, if you are new to the series on my channel, basically what I'm doing is I'm um, just tangling different designs on my nails. I'm showing you four different ones. I probably wouldn't wear this as a full manicure with all four different designs, but you totally could if you wanted to. But here are maybe like four different accent nails you could choose from. So anyway, um, and on this series, we just kind of chat and we just hang out while I doodle on my nails. So it's not so much a tutorial. It's just kind of like, hey, let's get out our paints and let's hang out and let's doodle and let's have a little bit of fun. So um, if you're also new, you won't know that whenever I do nail art, I always use acrylic paints unless there's a very specific color that I'm trying to tie into my design. Then I'll actually use like that nail polish color. But acrylic paints are so much easier for me to paint with because they don't get sticky and tacky as nail polish do. So just for me, it's easier. So that's what you're seeing there is um, acrylic paint and this is just your basic white that you've seen in these past two designs and then we're going to use the basic black coming up here a little bit later. And then I always mention my um, nail art brush, it's nothing particular. What I do is I just grab any kind of artist brush set at the store and then I just cut the bristles down so so fine until I have like just a few hairs. If you look at that brush right there, that base there is how many hairs were on that and I just cut it, you know, till they're just a few. So anyway, third design. This one, I um, I kind of give you two options here for how to go on this design. I really like this one. I enjoy like geometric graphic designs for my nail art. Like sometimes I really like doing characters and like very specifically recognizable things, but lots of times for my nail art, I just like graphic designs or images or whatever. So this one is fun because it's real easy. It's just line work. So you're just going to be placing these lines um, on your nails and you're going to you're going to line it up. <laughs> You'll see here in a second. So, and then um, I go in at the end and kind of give you like another way that you can add to it. I didn't actually end up liking it in the end. I think I will just like next time I do this design, I'll probably just leave that part out. But hey, you know, you just, you try stuff and you, sometimes you like it, sometimes you don't. But um, anyway, so yeah. Oh. Guys, I'm so tired of being sick. Like, I'm so ready to just be back into the normal swing of things. Like, I don't even rem My mom was talking to me about something. We oh, yeah, we were talking yesterday about um, the finale of The Bachelor that we watched. 
Okay, so I got my People magazine in the mail. I got to backtrack a little bit. I got my People magazine in the mail, and the cover story is about The Bachelor and the girl that he picked in their new life that they're starting together. And she's like, that doesn't even look like her. If you guys have seen the People magazine, maybe you'll know what I'm talking about. She's like, that doesn't even look like the same girl. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe she just photographs differently than she video or whatever, films or whatever. So um, anyway, and then I was like, isn't that weird how um, on The Bachelor next season they're going to have two bachelors? And I was like telling her about it. And she's like, you know, I was watching the whole finale with you, right? And I was like, what? So apparently I've like lost a whole week. I don't even remember what happened last week. But um, yeah, I'm talking about The Bachelor. I actually do watch that show. I do have definitely some Guilty Pleasure TV shows. And The Bachelor is one of them. I don't know. I just... I totally get into it. Um, I used to even listen to a podcast where people were talking about, you know, who they thought was going to get kicked out and who the winner was going to be and all that kind of stuff. I would be one of those people that would go, like, if I actually had friends that lived near me or f friends in general, because I'm such a loner, like, for reals, I'm a total loner. If I had friends, <laughs> we would have one of those bachelor parties where we'd get together every week and watch The Bachelor. No, it's, it's not that I don't have friends. I just, I don't know. I'm such a homebody. Like, seriously, I just, I'd rather be home than being out partying. But in my head, I think I would be one of those people that would go to those parties. Anyway, so, yes, I love The Bachelor. And I just, I was going to actually... I was thinking, if any of you watch the show, did you not all know that he was going to pick Whitney like the entire time? Okay, not the entire time, but since their very first date together where they went and crashed that wedding, at the end of that date, he said something, I don't remember the exact verbiage, but he said something like, she doesn't even know like how good of an impression she made on me tonight, or he said something like that and then he was like this was actually like the best day of my life or something like that and I was like whoa he's really into this chick and so then basically for the rest of the show I mean you could tell that he was attracted to other women but I was like he's totally picking Whitney because he's been in love with her for like six weeks now or something anyway so it was no surprise to me who he picked Hopefully, if um, <laughs> you saw my little spoiler alert that um, now I'm realizing I'm going to need to put in right before I start talking about the finale, um, hopefully you didn't. I didn't just spoil that for you and you muted me or whatever. Um, but yeah, hopefully you already knew that's who he picked and I didn't just make you sad. But yeah, so um, that's one of the shows that I really like. The other show that is one of my very favorite shows ever premiered last night and I don't have TV so I watch everything online so I'm going to watch it tonight and it's Dancing with the Stars it's my other very favorite show besides So You Think You Can Dance and Dancing with the Stars and then I do like a few TV dramas like um, oh, like Grey's Anatomy and Scandal I like those shows but I'm much more it's about like reality TV I think <laughs> anyway I know it's pretty cheesy but Dancing with the Stars, I'm so excited about it. And actually, a lot of the people this season, I don't even really know who they are. Most of the men that are the celebrity dancers, I don't know who they are. But so excited about it. Going to be watching it tonight. Oh my goodness, we're already at the end of this video. I got to wrap up, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, have a really great day. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you back next time. Bye!